This exercise is called a sumo squat. So the sumo squat gets much more into the hips than say a traditional squat, which is gonna be a little bit more quad focused, but also a little bit of glutes. But with the sumo, because the feet's so wide apart, it's really gonna hit that posterior chain, hit those hips a lot harder. So when we're setting up, we wanna have our feet quite wide apart with our feet pointing out and then from here with the mace we've got a couple of different progressions that we can do so the first progression the beginner progression is just to have that mace all the position now or the, or the rack position as we, say, as we say with the mace so usual cues apply with the rack so shoulders down and pack down elbows tucked into the ribs okay hands on the navel stay as relaxed as you can and then from here we just want to make sure that our knees track our toes Okay, and get as low as you can, keeping good technique. So it's a straight line between the crown and the coccyx. Keep the chest facing forward so you're not folding through the hips. Okay, and then squeeze through the glutes and then drive up through the heels into full extension. So I'll just do a few reps of those. So trying to stabilize that mace as much as possible. If you need to, you can also choke up on that mace to make it a little bit easier. Just make sure if you do choke up, that you don't have that mace head in front of the face for obvious reasons either have it slightly above the head or below the chin, okay? So just making sure those elbows stay tucked in and the shoulders stay down and packed down and your knees track your toes so you're not internally or externally rotating. Your knees are in a good strong position. Squeeze through the glutes, drive down through the heels into full extension. Okay, so that's your first progression. The next one, we can take it a little bit further. I'll just go back into the usual rack position. Just know you can choke up if you need to. So we do our sumo squat and then we do a flag press. So with our flag press, we're not just pushing away from the body, we're actually pushing upwards as well, okay? So instead of finishing with our hands at navel height, our hands will finish at round about shoulder height. So we do our squat, sumo squat, and then push the mace away from the body. Shoulders are packed down still, full arm lock with the arms. Okay, I'll just do a few reps from the side to show you what that looks like. So nice wide feet. Okay, we're in that stack front rack position. Elbows are tucked in and then drive forward and up. So you finish at shoulder height and then bring it back into the navel and then back into the standing position. And then we can progress that one step further as well. So we start off in that sumo position. Toes pointing out wide and then from here, we're gonna we do our squat, so we do our sumo squat. This time, I'm gonna pivot off that right toe from here, okay, and I'm gonna rotate around and then press out, and then go the other side. Back into sumo squat, back into a standing position. So by putting that forward lunge into the sumo squat, you get a lot more quad activation as well. All right, guys, I'm just gonna do a few reps now to show you what that looks like. So our sumo squat position, <clears throat> low squat down, rotate, press, back into the start, rotate, press, back into standing. One more rep. 